My name is Davison Gumbo. I am a regional scientist with the Center for International Forest Research, responsible for the Zambia Country Office, um, where we have been focusing primarily on charcoal production as well as creating or developing a, a, a monitoring, reporting and verification system for, for, the, for Zambia. Uh, this entails uh, primarily providing ev additional evidence to the government in terms of the status of forest resources in one site here in, in Zambia. And this site is the Nyimba, for, Nyimba district. The charcoal scoping study was driven by the need to provide evidence to, to the general public on where the charcoal was coming from, who was producing the charcoal, how the charcoal is being conveyed across the country, and, and what policy options need to be taken. The, if you read any average document in this country, it will talk about charcoal as a major driver of, of, of deforestation. But what has not been done in the process is to kind of say what is driving that production itself, who is doing it and why they are doing it. So we set out to prove that, to look at the, the, the socio-economic implications of charcoal production, in addition to what is already existing, which is more to do with the ecological issues pertaining to charcoal. The findings have been varied, uh, but primarily focus on the, on the issue that charcoal is produced widely across Zambia. And wherever there are trees, people are producing charcoal. It is an easy business to get into. Uh, there are no tenure constraints in terms of where you cut and what you cut. Uh, and as a result, uh, people use it as a safety net and as well as a major source of income for the household. I think the, 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 the reaction we, 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 we got was that uh, they are going to run a charcoal endeavor, a, a national meeting to discuss uh, some of our findings as well as other, 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 other work that has been done on charcoal. Um, I think we saw uh, in the last couple of uh, uh, months, I think, that there's been an attempt to actually address charcoal issues by, by government, but primarily from a point of view of, of law enforcement. The Nyimba Forest Project is a USAID-funded project, uh, primarily meant to generate additional evidence uh, for use by what we call the NJP, or the National Joint Program, which is, which is addressing uh, red preparedness in this country, and red being uh, uh, reduction in in, in, in forest, uh, deforestation and uh, degradation. Um, our, our, we have two main thrusts, really, that, that we're looking at. One is generating a sub-national MRV, or Monitoring, Reporting and Verification Program, that will focus primarily at district level. Two, we have also discovered that it, it, is, it is not worthwhile just to develop that sub-national MRV if you do not look at what happens at community level. So we introduced, in this case, uh, a participatory forest inventory at the village level to complement what we're doing at district level. This, the data are just coming in. We're at, a, I think, a very early stage. Uh, and, I, and I think that maybe by March we will have a comprehensive data set. The, the signals we're getting from the local level is, yes, we want to use this data. Show us how to use this data so that we can make better management decisions of our forests. And I think that is a challenge we are facing at the moment. I think at different levels, people appreciate uh, the project in terms of uh, data generation. It's well understood by, surprisingly, by the traditional authorities who think they will use the data for bargain purposes. Um, at community level, just knowing where your resources are seems to be the most important uh, uh, issue coming out of the project. I think uh, we also noted that as we were carrying out the various inventories, some of the species that the communities thought were no longer there, we actually discovered that they were there. And in the process, we also found a lot of illegal activity, which clearly showed that the f these forests are still alive and they've got resources that communities can use. I think the, what we've done so far, uh, I think uh, 
misses on a few issues that, that I think need a refocus. The one area where we really need a refocus is a better understanding of deforestation in this country. We need to start off by, by actually saying what is deforestation, get it defined, get it better understood, and see how it fits in within our present understanding of, of research. The second issue that, that I also consider very important is that uh, we see a situation whereby uh, there's been a lot of studies done, but because research has been limited, we're basically recycling the same information and arriving at the same conclusions. I think a typical case is charcoal, where everybody says charcoal leads to, uh, to, 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 to forest loss. But when you look at charcoal very, very closely, where it does take place, it is done in conjunction with agricultural expansion. So the question is, what is it charcoal that comes first or is it, is it, is it, is it ag expansion? So these are some of the issues we, I think personally, we should now be looking at instead of just simply stopping at those studies that have been done and recycling the information in those studies.